This is my first TV set that I ever did. Why are you getting offended? You asked us. Do you think that I have a future in stand-up comedy? Hi, my name's Jim Gaffigan, and this is my son. Patrick. Is it Patrick? Hi, I'm Mari Gaffigan. And I'm Katie Gaffigan. I'm Jack Gaffigan. And I'm Michael Gaffigan. And you're watching Disney Channel. We're gonna watch some of my old stand-up comedy, and we're gonna see what Patrick thinks, and we're also gonna see what my other kids think. I wanna go home. Well, I think when you started your stand-up might have been a, li a little bit dry, because I'm not sure if you met mom at that time, and I know that she helps you a lot with your writing. When you started stand-up, I bet you were bad. Here goes nothing. Something you would see in a horror movie. It's like Seinfeld. He's a very funny guy, and tonight he is making his television debut. Please give him a warm welcome. This is Jim. They called you Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. He said Mrs. Tim Gavin. <laughs> This is my first TV set that I ever did. It's kind of like my first day of school for TV. Long neck. Very long neck. Oh wait. Ha ha. That's me. Let's go. Hi, you look so different. Do I look different? Yeah. The bald spot is bigger. My bald spot's bigger now. You look like a you look like a serial killer. <laughs> you look so skinnier. You look like Steve Jobs. Yeah. Your voice is so high. Is that your real voice? I've been playing phone tag with my dad for like the past three weeks. I've come to the conclusion that my father knows absolutely nothing about technology. It's funny that you're like making a joke about how old people can't use technology and it's like the answering machine. So what do you think uh, an answering machine? My dad leave the same message on my answering machine. Like what is an answering machine, do you know? I think you like write a question on a sheet of paper and you put it in and it gives the answer. Oh, okay. And what do you think a fax machine is? A fax machine? Yeah. I've heard of that before. It's like a printer, something it's like, a printer. like that. Yeah. Well, I know when you leave a message, you have to like, you can listen to what they sent. Um, I feel like an answering machine, you could answer to the message. How do I look different there than right now? Am I? I don't know. Just your bald spot is smaller. But you can't even see my bald spot, and it's not necessary to keep bringing it up. Since you don't have but a bald spot. Right? I don't have a bald spot there. It sounds like you're like impersonating Bart from The Simpsons, a little bit. <laughs> like, cause it's I don't know. Your voice is just like a, in a higher register I was than nervous. this. Is. But you know, a bald spot. A lot of women are really attracted to bald spots. Really? Yeah. I mean, well, not a lot. Well, none are, but some might be. How old do you think I was in that? You sounded like you were, like, to say 30. Okay, 30. No, no. I think I, you were actually 60. 16. 16. Jack, how old do you think I was? Two, uh, um, I think you were, like, 35. I was two years old. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. I'll give you three answers. I am either 25, 17, or 45. I'm 45. And, okay. 24. 20, 24. Maybe 29, 28. He's going to be like 89. Yeah. Looking at this video, do you think that I have a future in stand-up comedy? You don't, you don't have to just say that because I'm your dad. Like, do you think it's funny? You can be honest. Yeah. What, what do you think? That last joke I didn't understand because I kind of laughed. Yeah. I mean, you didn't laugh out loud. I, 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 um, I mostly laugh at jokes that I don't understand. Oh. Okay. Well, that's interesting. You laugh at the jokes you don't get. Michael, would you think that I would have a good career? Don't ask him. Why not? Why can't I ask him? Because he's not even going to answer. He's just you, use this, you use the same joke every time. What's the same joke? Why are you getting offended? You asked us. I'm not getting offended. 
And so like, and we've seen baby pictures of me and you look like, when you were a baby, you look like me. And I mean, you're better looking, but like, so that's what you're gonna look like when you're 25. How do you feel about that? Does that make you sad? <laughs> no, that kind of doesn't change a difference to me. It doesn't change a difference. I might not have a bold spot, and I don't, don't really care. Okay, again, Because I don't to the really spot. have to be your mini-me. Indiana is a great state. If you're unfamiliar with it, well, here's something you'll never hear in Indiana. Nice tux. Anyway. <laughs> I suppose I'm white that trash. That wasn't funny. My, uh, really? <laughs> this really is something you'll never hear in yes, Indiana. Nice tux. <laughs> You don't think that's no, overdoing it? No. <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand See, you guys this. are nice, but yeah, I just went honest. out with this girl. She was, like, fundamental. She was so intense, though. She kept on demanding that I go to a Bible study class. So I would joke around with her. I'd call was her this up, mom? and she'd say, Who is this? And I'd just go, The devil. <laughs> so it's that devil voice. Why are you trying to avoid the thing where it's like, Yeah, I was dating this girl. Well, I mean... Oh, uh, yeah. What, uh, do, you think, do you think that I never dated anyone before? Uh, the story doesn't add up, but I'll let it slide. I, it was like another 10 years before I even met your mom. Seriously? So, Michael, that devil voice, don't you do a devil voice? Yeah, I do. It's funny, I love. I, I get how parents laugh at it. What do you only think parents? I don't know. Because you're laughing? That, that, that's the guy who made the jokes. Hey, what's up? I'm Jim Gaffigan. Thanks for watching. Now hit the subscribe button, or Pat, you tell him what's gonna happen. Or else. Oh, you wouldn't do that, would you?